Hey guys, welcome to another PHP tutorial. At the end of last lesson, we managed to establish a connection to our MySQL database through using PHP. So if you're not up to that, if you are not sure how to connect to a database, then make sure you go back to the previous lesson. But basically what we can do here is we have a file where if we load this PHP file, we establish a connection to our local database called tests. And now once we've established the connection, the next thing we want to do is create a table in this database. So um, the if you're not familiar with the language SQL, um, the the uh, language is pretty much uh, a whole separate programming language so you probably need to do a bit of study on that but basically uh, an SQL statement uh, that we can use for creating a table is just called create table and let's say the name of our table that we're creating is members. And so we're going to type the whole statement and store it in the SQL uh, variable, in this variable called SQL. And in this table, we're going to have a few fields. And uh, the first field is um, we're going to call it uh, ID ID and basically we're creating a table to store information about members uh, of, our, of our website so ID is going to be an integer and it is also the primary key of our table so what that means is each row, each uh, row in our database is going to be identified by this ID. And uh, so we're also going to put in auto underscore increment. So that just means that um, we don't have to worry about generating the ID every time PHP is going to do it for us and put another quotation mark put another dot um, put another quotation mark and we need our login name so login and login name is basically uh, we're going to allow a maximum of let's say 10 characters Right, we don't want really long login names. Okay, uh, put in a comma, quotation mark, put another dot, and then we want the only piece of information we're going to get from our users right now is a nickname. Nickname and it's also we're going to give it a maximum of let's say 30 characters okay so finish the bracket finish the quotation mark and finish the statement with a semicolon so what this does is it creates a table called members it's going to have three fields an id field a login field and a nickname field and basically every time we insert a row or um, if you're familiar with the database terms every time we insert a tuple into our database uh, it's going to require these three fields it's going to get information from these three fields okay and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make it echo our SQL statement on the screen 
echo our SQL statement on the screen uh, plus plus we're gonna make it echo a break just to make it wrap to the next line okay now what we're gonna do is we're gonna run this query on our database and what you do is you type in another variable let's say result equals and running this MySQL query requires a statement MySQL underscore query bracket dollar sign SQL and our uh, connection that we established which is this variable here so we're gonna run our SQL query via this connection and we're also going to let it tell us whether it succeeded so if it does not succeed so put in a uh, exclamation mark and then the variable result if it does not succeed then echo uh, mem uh, table not created otherwise echo table created okay and then the last thing we wanted to do is close our connection close our connection okay so hopefully when we run this program it's gonna say connection establish it's gonna run this query and it's gonna tell us whether the table was created so let's try that by refreshing this file and uh, table not created so there is an error in our table in our coding so let's go back to line 19 which is this line here So I found where the problem was and basically I forgot an I in the MySQL um, query statement. So put an I there which stands for improved. And what I'm going to do is switch the um, arguments around and put the connection first and put the SQL statement second and uh, I'm also going to put an I there in front of the underscore close so my SQL I underscore close save that see what happens syntax error line 11 uh, where is line 11 Um, what? Well, not sure what I put. Why I put this here? But basically, this our statement should be down here. All right. Not sure how it worked before without that. Okay. So save that. Refresh it. Table created. All right. Now don't run this statement again because it's probably going to do something else but now that we've run this I want you to go back to PHP my admin and open up the uh, test table and just see whether it has oh, we have to log in again
just to see whether it has created a table. So go into the database test and you can see there is a table called members and let's look at the structure of the table it has an ID, a login and a nickname so there are the three things, three fields that we um, created okay now what happens if you run this statement what happens if you run this file again is if you run it again it will say table not created and the reason for that is because it, the table is already there so it's obviously not going to have two tables with the same name All right so basically we have succeeded in creating a table with three uh, fields okay I'll see you guys next time